Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Study with Soumya. I hope you all are doing extremely well. Well, first of all, if you are new to this channel or you haven't subscribed our channel till now, make sure to do subscribe and press the notification bell so that you will never miss any update from the channel itself. Also, be a part of our Telegram community. The link for the Telegram channel is given in the description. Well, in this video, we are going to see previously asked study questions in companies like Infosys, Capgemini, etc. So, if you are preparing for these companies, make sure to watch this video till the end and hit the like button if you think that this video is really going to be very helpful for you. Also, make sure to share this video among your friends, among your colleagues. Okay, so now without any further delay, let's get started with the first question. But guys, before watching my solution, try to guess the output on your own and note that one silly mistake can deduct your score by two marks in Infosys exam. Okay, so do attentively. Okay, so the first question is. Okay, let me change. Uh, let me take the pen. Okay, so set integer a assigned one, then integer b assigned two, character x assigned one, character y assigned two. If a b x y, so as we can see here, there is no any condition in if block, and all the values, all the values are non-zero. Then it will consider as one, and if one, then control come into the if block, and this will simply display the code as output. So the answer is output. I hope this is clear to you, and you guessed it right. Okay. So the next question is, there is a function namely var. Uh, it is taking an argument as an integer value, and this is returning zero and the end of function. Here is the main function int x assigned var of ten. X is assigning by a value by calling the function var by passing the ten as an argument. Okay, so the control will goes here. Okay, and uh, it will come into the function which is return zero. Uh, then the zero will be assigned to the x. Now the value of x is ten. And display x, so 10 will be displayed. I hope you guessed it. Okay, so move on to the next question. Next question is set integer x assigned 0, y assigned minus 1, and z assigned 1. Okay, so y or z and x or y. So here are bitwise operation we have to perform. So y value is minus 1 or z value is 1. Okay, so minus 1 is considered as non zero value so it will through one so this will become one and x or y x is zero or y is minus one so this is our operation so the control will goes here okay so this is minus one so it is considered as non zero value and it will through uh, one so one and one become one okay so the output is one i hope this is clear to you and you guessed it right okay move on to the next question so the next question is set integer num assign 4 to 5 4 1 okay if num assign 0 then display num else display no change okay so here as we can see that num is assigning a 0 okay uh, it is not a condition this is simply assigning 0 to the num then this will through 0 and display num so the control will out from the if block and it will come on to the else and this will Print the no change. Okay, so the output is no change. I think समझ में आ गया होगा. नहीं आया तो फिर से समझ लीजिए. Okay, num is assigning zero. This is not equal. <coughs> this is not the condition that num is equal to equal to zero. Okay, in programming equals to is this. Okay, this is assigning operator. This is assignment operator. So the num is assigning zero. So this will become zero. The whole part will become zero, and the control will not go into the if block. It will directly come into the else block and display will be no change. Okay. I hope now this is clear to you. Okay. Move on to the next question. If display bar display promote else display demote. Again, there is no any condition in if block. This is simply displaying bar. Okay. So bar will be displayed as an output. Then it will come into the if block and display promote so as we can see here that there is no any new line or end l operation so promote will print next to the work so the output is first okay so move on to the next question set integer m assign 20 and integer n okay 
Now, if m is greater than equals to 10, so 20 is greater than equals to 10. The condition is true. Then control will come into the if block. Set integer m of n 10. So the now m value uh, will become 10 and end if. Okay. So display m and n. So m will become 10 and n is as we didn't assign any value to n. So it will throw a garbage value. Then the garbage value will be print as an output. So the output is 10 comma garbage value. Okay. Move on to the next question. Integer rest and string str set string assigned verb. Okay. String will be assigned as verb. Verb. Okay. Result assigned string length of str. So result will be assigned as 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, string length is 4 so result assign will be 4 and display result XOR 1 so here we ha uh, we should have the knowledge of XOR operation how it works so let's convert 4 into binary and 1 into binary I am using the 8421 code for converting the 4 and 1 into the binary ok 0 1 0 0 and 1 is 0 0 0 1 now performing the XOR operation how XOR operation works Actually, both values are distinct, then only it will give 1 and if both values are same, then it will give 0. Okay, so if the value, first value is 1 and the second value is also 1, then this will give 0. And if the first value is 0 and the next value is also 0, then it will give 0. And if the first value is 1 and the next value is 0, so it will give 1 and 0 and 1 will give. 1. Okay. If both the values are distinct, then, then only it will give 1 and both the values are same, then in both the cases it will give 0. Okay. So, let's see. 0 and 1 will give 1. Okay. 0 and 0 will give 0 and 1 and 0 will give 1 and 0 and 0 will give 0. So, what it is? It is 5. So, the answer is 5. Okay. Move on to the next question. Set integer m assign 10, oh, sorry, m assign 0. Do m assign m into 2. So, it will become 0 into 2 equals to 0. Okay. Now, display m plus plus. As we can see here, this is a post increment operator. So, first 0 will be displayed and then m will be incremented by 1. So, now m value will uh, become 1. And while m is less than 1, so the condition is false as 1 is less than uh, 1 is equals to 1. Okay. So, the control will come out from the do while loop. Okay. And do while loop. Okay. So, output only will be 0. Okay. Over to the next question. Set integer result assign 3. Come into the uh, come into the do while loop. Display result plus 2. So, uh, I am printing here. Okay. Output is first output is result 3 plus 2 will become 5 okay result assign result minus 1 here only we are displaying the result plus 2 okay not assigning result assign result plus 2 okay so result result is still 3 then it is 3 minus 1 1 become 2 okay now while result is not equals to 0 so 2 is not equals to 0 the condition is true then control will again come into the do while loop and display assign result plus 2 result is 2 then 2 plus 2 will be added and this will give 4. Now the 4, uh, okay, 4 and result assign result minus 1. So result is a 1 and uh, sorry, display result plus 2. Then 4 will be printed here. Okay, let me again do it. Okay, I'm again telling you. Okay. Sorry for your inconvenience. Okay. So, first your result assign 3. Okay. Come into the do while loop. Display result plus 2. Okay. Output is 3 plus 2 will become 5. Okay. Result assign result minus 1. So, 3 minus 1. Result is still 3. As we are not assigning result to assign result plus 2. This is not it. This is simply displaying the output as result plus 2. Okay, so result is still 3, so 3 minus 1 will become 2. Now, while result is not equals to 0, so the condition is true as 2 is not equals to 0, the 
control will again come into the do while loop and again will display result plus 2 now the value of result is 2 then 2 plus 2 will become 4 and display 4 okay now again result assign result minus 1 result is 2 2 minus 1 become will become 1 okay will become 1 and while result is not equals to 0 so 1 is not equals to 0 the control will again come into the do while loop and display result plus 2 so result is 1 1 plus 2 will become 3 and 3 will be printed here now result assign result minus 1 then 1 minus 1 will become 0 and while result is not equals to 0 so 0 is not equals to 0 the condition will become false and this uh, the control reach out from the while do while loop and the output will be 5, 4, 3. Okay. I hope this is clear to you. Uh, if not, then dry run on your own. Okay. Okay. Move on to the next question. Set integer i assign 2. Okay. Switch i. Then it will search for 2. So, it is. Uh, it will simply come to the uh, case 2. Continue. Okay. So, guess what is the output. First of all, guess what is the output of this code. Okay, let me tell you. I hope you guessed it. Uh, here, this is uh, using continue. And we all know that we cannot use continue in the switch statement. We can use only in the loop condition. So, this will throw simply an error. There is no any output. This will throw an error. Okay, I hope this is clear to you. Okay, uh, so this is all about this video. I hope the all pseudo codes are clear to you. If you still have doubt, then comment down your query in the comment section. I will uh, solve out your query. Okay.